our gazers, spring has sprung and the promise of good weather, it's just in time for an upcoming celestial tree. It's going to be the only time actually this year when you can actually look up and see all of the five planets at Venus, uh, Mercury, Mars, Saturn, and Jupiter. You'll see all of them up there in the sky. So this is going to be an amazingly exciting time. Just keep your eyes peeled, and they'll be very close to each other. So you, within a pretty small field of view, the exception to there, you'll see all of them in a very confined area. So what will uh, stargazers need to observe this uh, lovely celestial event? They'll need basically just their eyes, which is a wonderful thing. You don't have to go out and get special equipment. You don't need binoculars. You don't really need telescopes. Telescopes and binoculars are great if you have them. But you just go out, look. Um, Venus will be extremely bright. Jupiter will be extremely bright. Saturn as well. Mercury you'll also be able to see quite clearly. But what you want to look for is you want to look for it about half an hour after sunset. Because it's more of a, of a horizon type object. You'll see it after the sun goes down. Because if you think about Earth and then the sun, Mercury and Venus come before Earth. There's the sun and then they're between. So what you see with them is you see them uh, rising near to the horizon close to um, sundown. Now, Darusha, this is not a one night only event. No, it's actually going to be for six nights. So anytime between March 25th and March 30th, you can go out and take a look at the planet all lined up in the sky. It should be really beautiful. What you want to do is just get somewhere. If you get away from the city, that's great. If not, you'll still be able to see the planet. They're extremely bright. And the planets do not, like stars, they don't actually twinkle. Because it's a matter of um, the Earth's atmosphere, which gives this, this impression that the, that the planet is actually um, shining very, very intense light on us. So you want to look for Venus, and then below Venus you'll see Mercury. And in the same region of the sky you'll see Saturn. And this will all be to your west, and then if you turn east, you can't miss Jupiter. It's going to be huge and very, very high in the sky. Thank <laughs> you.